right, so here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5 2 play. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list. That includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway. You know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC's lightweight division and has the frame to compete up, and he's shown that before he was a featherweight, so a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC's career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makashev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well. And Puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Makashev tonight. Our tail of the take now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven elite as well. A true 5 2 player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Makashev's got his back again. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Another ground and pound strike gets home. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Makashev's in half guard now. Oh, looking for the submission now. 
Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks right there. Poirier's head is out. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Makashev's back inside control. Oh, right into mouth. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here. Oh, nice transition. Flattens him out now. This could be trouble. We cross the midpoint in round one. All right, so we can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High-level work by Islam Akasha. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Makashev's back in half guard, very comfortable here. All right, side control now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one. For oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick, and now he's just going from step to step, trying to get the finish. It's about to be over. Posture's up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, he's got his back. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, he got to the spot. And very effective with the ground and pound. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, another ground strike gets through. In the half guard. Seconds of round one. Great submission defense. Oh. Five minutes in the books. All right. Sit down for me, buddy. Good. Deep breath. Breathe. Slow that heart rate down for me. All right. You good? All right. Listen to me. You take that. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just Ready. witnessed. One guy Ready. almost submitted, one guy escaped. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight. He has been a headhunter at times in his career, but at least at this point, Joe, you gotta think it would behoove him to start mixing things up and work some shots to the body. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. This arm triangle's looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's gotta clear the guard drop his chest and get the finish. How in the world did he escape that submission? Nicely done. Well, he 
has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. His superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single counter. And now some separation. Kasha gets the takedown. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's got to be careful here. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Poirier. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Makashev's in half guard. Oh, good defense, yes. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Islam Makashev. And there you go, again, half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground attack. He's got to be careful here. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Poirier. Mm, nice. Makashev's right back to the full mount. He sent up a beautiful submission. Ooh, he's got it locked in. Oh, oh somehow, some way he got out. But these guys are shot. back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Cole is somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashe. Takes his back now. Relentless pressure from the top by Islam Akasha. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Big right hook there by the champ. That's it. That's nice it. shots landing from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Trying to recover full guard there. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Islam Makashev. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Poirier's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Stay in the pocket. Left, right, hooks. Straight down the middle works, man. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? 
Good. Round three of a possible five. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Islam Makasha. Now he's got the single collar in the clutch. Fourier strike attempt there is blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh. Guillotine jump. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Now he's going full mount. Makhachev's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Poirier. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Dustin Poole. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice transition. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times. That his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again. Real big strikes and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half court. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makhasha. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots. And once again, he lands right on that cut. He's having his way with him here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Makashev's back in full mount. Nice positional control here. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Great defense by this fighter. He's really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Gotta start throwing now. Well, shades of Anthony Showtime Pettis against Tony Ferguson, just masked in blood. This is not looking good. Yeah, it was it was like all Ferguson fighters, right? He would just destroy people. And that's exactly what he looks like right now. He looks Makashev's going for a choke here. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. With his... And now he's got the back. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pop. Kirk Dean oh, steps oh. in! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this 
was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. So there he is, and congratulations to the and still UFC undisputed lightweight champion. Man, was he on point tonight. He bided his time, and eventually when there was an opening, he closed the show. Attritative punches there, setting up the TKO. And now he can go back and celebrate with his coaches and training partners. Another monumental moment in the career of the undisputed best lightweight in the world.